Good morning. Now, I'm not well enough to go for a ride. At least, I'm not well enough to go for a ride on my normal bike. So today, we're trying something completely different. So today, we're out on Mrs. Yako's shopping cart. Blooming heck, it's fast. This is like a motor, oh, I forgot it was gravelly along here. Hold on, we're doing gravel. Twice a year, I think it's twice a year, the hunters are allowed to hunt wild boar. They wear bright orange because um, they're a bit prone to shooting each other. But you can see they've got loads of dogs just wild, running loose. So they've managed to get at least two habali. I don't really have too much of a problem with it. It's a shame because they're beautiful wild animals, etc. But um, there's a lot of them. They're not in any way uh, endangered. And in fact, without the hunting, they would breed to ridiculous levels. Uh, I know that they're running loose now in Barcelona, the city, raiding bins, etc. It's the same in places in Italy. Um, and at least it's an organized hunt. Where we used to live, they were loons, loons with guns. Anyway, back to my ride. But yesterday, I went for a four kilometer ride on my mountain bike with Mrs. Yako on her shopping cart. And here it is. It's a Pendleton Summer Bee that I've whacked a conversion kit on to, an e-bike conversion kit. And I've got it set to level five. And level five is, or well, this kit, is uh, about 700 watts of power and uh, 42 Newton meters of torque. Very similar to the Orbe again that I have. That has roughly 40 Newton meters of torque. The difference is, is that Orbea's 40 Newton meters is an equivalent 40 Newton meters, an equivalent to a mid motor. The actual power it has is between 17 and 18 Newton meters of torque. This one's got 42. First hill of the day. That was quite steep. That was probably about eight or ten percent. Didn't feel it. Didn't feel it at all. I swapped down to uh, second gear, admittedly, but um, that was more than easy. It's just an absolute beast. So we're just going to pull out onto the main road here. There we go. It's really very awkward to ride. You're sitting so high up and so straight backed. Very good for your back, I would have thought. <coughs> I'm gonna ghost pedal and just see how fast it takes us. So no effort at all. I'm literally just turning the pedals. So it's gonna do about 30 kilometers an hour with me ghost pedaling. That's pretty powerful. I'm still quite a lump. The bike itself, surprisingly, before adding the kit was um, only 11 kilos which is pretty good for a hybrid it's rather more than that now mrs yako and i went shopping yesterday and she was on it she wouldn't stop laughing because it is so easy i'm on a slight incline now i can't tell you how steep it is i'm doing 25 and a half kilometers an hour that's actually slightly faster than I do on the gain up this slight incline. Not much, about the same, but I'm not putting any effort in at all. Whereas normally on this bit of road, I don't use the assist on the gain at all. It's just no need. So um, Mrs. Yako could actually easily keep up with me on, uh, on one of my favorite rides, which is up through the Pass Lassa. This is absolutely fantastic. 
Very good fun. What? Yeah, it does 32 with pedalling. I'm going to come off the main road here and we're going to follow the River Sierrana up a little ways. It's a very quiet road. I did adjust the seat height and I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> It's also an incredibly uncomfortable saddle. <clears throat> I feel that my um, <laughs> I feel like my buttocks are being separated, and I'm about to be sliced in half. For your information, yeah, for actually just getting out in the open air, getting a bit of vitamin D. I'm sure it's doing a lot for my. Uh, cardio or uh, actually it probably is doing something for muscles because I'm certainly pushing the pedals now it's uh, not powered so it's a bike ride isn't it getting around town something like this would be absolutely fantastic so uh, we'll probably be selling the car now and I'll just send uh, Mrs. Yako off to the shops she's thinking about investing in a trailer so that she can get more stuff. I'm sure she won't mind. Getting a bit out of puff as you can tell. So uh, I'm gonna turn it around, back in level five, <laughs> and go and watch the uh, Strada Bianchi. The other shout out I want to do is actually to my old schoolmates. They've, I can't remember if I told them or whether they found out, but so I was just uh, having a chat with Mike. Hello Mike. And uh, he says, well, we're all watching. <laughs> I haven't seen these guys in a couple of years now. Some of them, many years. But uh, shout out to Mike and to Shane, to Al. Get on your bikes, lads. But thanks for watching. this river Sierrana. I'm wondering when the last time I saw it actually flowing. It's been about two years I think. I'm absolutely loving this little ride, apart from being split into two. I've got a little confession to make actually. I'm just going to dress up as Mary Poppins for this one. And I decided I wasn't really uh, confident enough to be on a busy main road in women's clothes. Your loss, not mine. <laughs> I would have got a lot of toots, I think. Quite a lot of toots. There's a hidden benefit to being this upright. There's quite a, a strong tailwind at the moment. The motor's off. I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> There's one last new thing on the channel. I feel a bit iffy about it, but um, I've set up a buy me a coffee link. It means that if you want to do uh, more to support the channel, more than viewing, liking, subscribing, you actually want to uh, actually give us some cash, then uh, that's what that's for. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, but uh, it's there. If you want to click on it and buy me a coffee, I'd be grateful. I might even be in a afford my own kit in some stage in the future, who knows. Well that was ridiculously good fun. Hopefully next week I'm going to be feeling well enough to do a proper ride. I'm really missing it. I've done maybe three or four rides in these last three or four weeks. It's uh, it's hard not riding. It's really hard not riding. I really miss it. I feel that, uh, yeah, certainly my spirits are low from not uh, being able to ride. Coughing and wheezing and not being able to sleep doesn't help either, but um, yeah, well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the positive. So let's really hope the next week I'm back on the gain, doing a proper ride, going somewhere adventurous. So until then, 
thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for watching. Oh, ho, 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 ho.